All right, so this is the diffusion pump that I've uh, managed to score. That uh, my father had hidden away. I was talking to him about the fact that I'm kind of getting into vacuum stuff, and and uh, he he said to me, "Oh, I think I've got a diffusion pump somewhere." Because I said I was talking about how I was going to build one, and I bought a few bits and pieces to build one, and oh, I think I've got one somewhere. He goes and scrounges around a little bit and pulls out this this vintage Scotch video cassettes box, which is what probably circa 1980 something or other. I don't know if you can uh, there's a bit written there but I don't think that's going to tell you anything but 180 minute there's no uh, there's no date or anything on the box I'm not really expecting that but so it's um, my parents uh, used to own a a um, TV VCR repair business and electronics retail shop. So that's from there, and that I'd say he's probably had a kicking around in the shed for a good 30 years. Um, he thinks he bought it at a clearing sale or an auction, and uh, when he got it, it was all the inside was all full of black, burnt on crap. So it sounds like it's um, either never had the oil changed or someone has opened exposed it to air while it was um, hot and uh, of course that burns everything now I'm pretty sure that it's just steel which I'm hoping it is because um, I'm going to actually TIG weld some fittings onto the onto the top here because the original fittings are these brass jobbies that were that was soldered on. Um, but the stack up itself is uh, okay, that way. so it's strange. I've never really seen any any diffusion pumps like this. I think I. I managed to find, well that goes all the way down around the base there. And I then thought there was another one. It's a very strange setup this one because a diffusion pump works by basically boiling the oil on the bottom plate and then that oil vapor shoots up the column and then hits these little well this has got two covers of this but hits these little diffusers on the top and there's another another one around the base there if I'm getting shot properly and squirts the oil back down inside the the two little towers on the top now that kind of pushes any of the air molecules back down and because the oil is a much heavier molecule it doesn't it just kind of condenses back on the sides it's what the cooling coils are for um, now I've only found one online that looked anything even close um, I think it was the HiVac website hy-vac I think that was what it was um, but I've never seen any of them that have like this is the output and it's still gonna have oil flowing up so I don't know whether it's trying to because it's got this baffle in the middle it's just bizarre really bizarre how this whole thing 
kind of works. I'm very, I've been very confused by it. Like the tower type ones I kind of can understand, but this is just a bit strange. Um, because obviously that baffle is going to sit in the oil. So there's not going to be any... So it must shoot the oil, the, the vapour down and then actually suck it around under through here. That's, that's the only way I can see it working. It's bizarre. It's worth a crack anyway. Um, complete with, I don't want to disturb this too much, asbestos heating element, tasty, num 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 num, um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm just using these, rather than using the proper vacuum fittings which can be well, they're a lot more expensive than these and a lot harder to find. I'm just using standard tri-clover sanitary fittings. They're very similar in design. They just don't have the metal insert, which is only for alignment anyway. So I think these are going to work fine. Um, so I'm going to TIG weld a tri-clover to the top of that. And then onto this side here, it's normally it would have that brass elbow on there. Um, I've got all this, if I get it in shot, just move up a little bit. Big pile of, if you can't get me leg out of there, this big pile of stainless steel mumbo jumbo. Some of it I've bought, these smaller tees and stuff like that, but all of this. This gubbin over here, I scored from scrap metal guy who had these. Um, uh, they were some kind of venturi. Um, I think they were used for making biodiesel to to put in a desiccant through it. Um, so there's this big stack up. That's that's part of it. I mean, these would have been thousands of dollars, and I got them for the whole lot for a hundred bucks. There's three of them. I've got two of these bigger ones, and one of the, see off in the background there, that smaller, ooh, 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 that smaller one just there, running up and down, um, and these, these bends here, these, these long T bits, and that's coming up from there, um, these were all part of it. And they've got these inside. I mean, this is all CNC machined. Nice machining, and they've got a bit, bit of oil kind of, and it smells a bit rancid oil. So I'm pretty sure it's something to do with um, um, biodiesel or something like that. And these were kind of down inside there so I think as it as you pump as you pump your fluid through here it it sucks the desiccant in through this outlet mixes it up and then on the bottom on the bottom of them they've got these little kind of diffuser things that sprays it out the side as it comes out the bottom and there's a little cone that goes under this flange here a little cone it kind of comes down, so I think it's to make sure it mixes up even more. Um, but uh, the bonus with these is they've got these nice flanges. So what I'm going to do with these, um, not so much this one, but that one, this bigger flange is I'm going to probably turn this um, this little raised section, this little boss off that has the 
o-ring on it um, turn that down basically face this whole thing off and put an o-ring groove in the front and use that to bolt up to the bottom of the vacuum chamber plate um, and then that will have a so that will be the bottom of the vacuum chamber then there'll be a valve and then there'll be the diffusion pump so I can shut the valve off from atmosphere and I'm just going to use these butterfly valves um, they have a Buna Buna N seal on the inside not the best but we'll see how it goes um, I'm going to make sure they're nice and lubricated with vacuum grease, but hopefully they'll work okay. Anyway, let's um, get to sticking this diffusion pump back together. Um, and we'll see how we go. I mean, these seals that were originally with the diffusion pump, they're Buna in rubber by the feel of it. Nice little brass threaded flanges, and I'm not expecting to get to a, a uh, ultra high vacuum, but I should be able to get to uh, a low enough vacuum. I want to be able to make an X ray tube, so hopefully, this will get to a low enough vacuum for that and some other vacuum experiments. Um, as I've, I've started making Geissler tubes and other bits and pieces, experimenting with vacuum and high voltage so we'll see what happens
Sanos. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 